Hi, it's Bud Wilkinson. Spring is here and here in New England, that means getting classic cars and trucks out of winter storage. It also means the start of the car show season. Before looking ahead though, I want to say thanks to everyone who has watched the more than 100 stories that have appeared on the channel in its first year. Ride Connecticut Classic Cars has been growing a strong following and is getting some great comments. A comment about the comments a little bit later. While the name of the channel contains Connecticut, viewers have come from all over the world. More than 70% have been from the U.S., but 8% have been from Canada. Here at home, Connecticut hasn't provided the most viewers. That honor goes to Texas, followed by Florida, California, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Surprisingly, Connecticut ranks 23rd in viewership among all 50 states, even though all but one of the stories have been filmed here in Connecticut. I mentioned that the car show season is starting. There will likely be more than 300 shows this year across the state, and that doesn't include weekly cruise nights or Sunday morning gatherings for coffee. A calendar of all the shows can be found on Ride Connecticut's website at classiccars.ride-connecticut.com. Now that the channel is established and operating smoothly, I'd like to know how it can be improved. What kind of different stories would you like to see? If you have a suggestion, please make a comment. Just for the record, the most popular story since the channel's debut was on Rick Roberts' 1974 Pontiac Le Mans GT. It has recorded more than 220,000 views. Getting a lot of traction recently was the story on Jermaine Atkinson's 1996 Ford F-350 pickup. How his dad bought it new, how he learned to drive on it as a teenager, and how he's now restored it and gotten it back on the road. One subject that has come up a few times over the past year plus the has been the delivery of the narrator. One person wondered if I was trying to copy John Davis from the PBS show Motor Week. The answer is no. What can I say? I work decades in radio and in TV news. My delivery is a habit. Because of that feedback, though, I promise to dial it down and be more conversational going forward. Seriously, thanks for the criticism. If you know a classic car enthusiast, please tell them about Ride Connecticut Classic Cars. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm Bud Wilkinson. That's it for now. I look forward to hearing your suggestions.